Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 117 of my Direwolf 20 1.18 Let's Play. Today we're back here watching the sunset. <laughs> yes, it's a glorious sight. I love it. Boop. Oops. There we go. Full view of the sun. Beautiful. I love how it starts getting dark and everything starts lighting up. Especially that tower. Like, it never gets dark. <laughs> um, Alright. Let's sleep and see what is in store for today. Uh, I still want to continue. Whoa! How the heck did that happen? Um, I think... Uh, that maybe the belt was interfering with it. Oh, look, it looks like I've taken the belt off already. Did I stick it in my bag? I did. Here's my, my plane strider sash, because uh, Jake said something about it might be interfering with uh, the, <laughs> the mechanics of the mech suit. Oh, man. Yeah, look how fast I can go. This is crazy. But I have the step assist turned off. Uh, what was that? You? No, it's the backslash. Um, so I think the step assist, yeah, that is on here. So maybe we'll do one. Oh, yeah, I wanted to see if, so like the jump boost, the jump boost is all the way up. So, uh, uh, yeah, I can't jump. Uh, well, I just jumped. Oh, I, I didn't actually jump the too high. That was the step assist. <laughs> Yeah, jumping, I can't do it, but stepping over it, it's fine. So, I don't know, the jump, the jump boost does not, what? There are four of them in here now. Man, I better, like, better get the piggies some food and breed them or they'll, they'll all turn into zombified pigmen. That's crazy. Must have had a, oh yeah, look. Must have been lightning strike nearby because it, it burned one of my, oh, an, another two of my uh, roof tables. Yes, what you would call them. Looks like everything else is intact though. Uh, well, let's go go see. <laughs> go see what I've been up to. Um, I did a little bit of work on my pathway over here. I haven't been over here in a while. Uh, I didn't do a super duper fantastic job, but I just did it quickly uh, so that I could, it, it would just not be plain cobble. <laughs> I didn't like that. Uh, and uh Bruce had grown up and turned all this into like the uh, potzel. So I went and replaced that all with dirt so it could be grass again. I still haven't fixed that uh, to, <laughs> to be uh, ran consistently. So I'll have to work on that, you know, sometime. Oh man, I know that I really love my underground base and uh, it's coming along swimmingly. I love how it's uh, developing, but I really, really love having stuff on the surface where I can just come and look and see. I did that, you know, I did that and it looks cool. Uh, <laughs> and I like having this. Uh, I like, check this out. I like this view. You come out, 
and boom you see the wizard tower right there it's great i can't wait to get a little dock built up around this area to to kind of tie that in because it looks kind of just bare right now uh, so that would be really nice to get that over there uh, i need to get doors on here uh, because i don't want mobs coming down here so yeah maybe we can do that real quick because uh, i have a way to get in and out um let's just i guess put a wooden door maybe we could just do oak we got a lot of oak in this building anyway Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really know which type of wood I wanted to use, uh, but I know uh, oak planks just, they, they go so good with stone bricks. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, spruce does too, but I just, I had a lot of oak and, and I don't, I like the look of oak, oak wood and stuff. So anyway. <laughs> I have the measure, I measured this out so I could see uh, whether or not it was going to fit inside the shielding, uh, the shield projector, I guess is what it's called, the shield projector, yeah. Uh, so this one supports 32,768 and according to my calculations, I should have plenty enough blocks up. What I figured was, I was talking with Jake, and he said if you have two layers protecting your shield projector, you're less likely to, you know, uh, have some type of mob break through it and destroy your projector, making <laughs> all of your blocks obsolete. So my calculations were for doubling up on the floor, but not on the ceiling. Uh, so hopefully that will be all right. So we got, uh, I, I went one end from the edge because I have this like little balcony type thing here with the fence on it and I like it. I want to keep it. <laughs> so I came in one block and it's uh, 36 blocks this way, 20 this way. And it is 12 blocks tall. So I doubled up on the 20 by 36 and then everything else should be fine. And I come up to a total of like 9,300-ish. Uh, I don't remember exactly. Let me, let me check my little calculator real quick. 9360 is what I came up with. So uh, that's well within the projector range. So I'm happy about that. And I can proceed um, <laughs> and, and everything will be groovy. So one of the big limitations that I have is wool. Um, Wool is a big issue. Uh, I do have that wool farm and it was running overnight and now I have, check it out, I have a little bit of wool built up. <laughs> 3349. Yay! Uh, that's still not enough. Um, it does take a lot of wool. Each, each combined takes uh hang on uh six wool <laughs> but you get eight so that's good that means that uh we only you know we don't need a whole nine thousand wool so we need less than 9300 wool because we're gonna get for each six wool we're gonna get eight templates so that is pretty cool Okay, um, 
So that being said, I need lots more wool. So not to mention the fact that I need wool to finish the wiring in my Super Ultra Mega Base. Uh, so that's a thing. So we have to have wool. And um, I would like to get the mana. Like since I know I need to do a lot more prep uh, to get the wool going, uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe, I will try and set up, see if I can set up uh, the mana part. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'm, I'm hoping. Uh, so, hmm, where do we want to do this? And how do we want to do this? Um, I was thinking to get, um, I think I have a tank in here, tank. Or maybe it's, I'm like pretty sure it's called a tank. What? I know the essence is from, aha, that's right. The essence is from Industrial Four going, but the tank that I'm thinking about is from the Mob Grinding Utilities. Uh, Singularity tank. Um, maybe my old stuff is in the refined storage system because I had all of this stuff already. Um, so let's see. Yeah, it, it must be in the dire pack. So let's check it out. Uh, yes. Okay, so Singularity Tanks. We have some. We have some with actual experience in there as well. And I have all these Jumbo Tanks. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we might want to... Uh, Use those to that contains liquid meat. All right, I think that's what we need. Um, I don't know what the green one was for. Was that for essence? The green fluid? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Um, oh wait, it's it's got something in it, doesn't it? Maybe if I put it down I can see. Yep, it's got fluid XP in it. Nice. <laughs> So that would be one way to move it down, move it down there if you don't have the um, the pipes and or the the uh, blah, 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 the thing in the bobber from from AE two the quantum ring if you don't have that you could just do whatever your mob system is uh put an inner tank on it and and take it over there that is one way to do it uh but i have all my stuff going into my system already uh so oh, oh dude i didn't get the tap that's like a key, I think. And I have two. Case one's not enough. Um, trying to 
think uh, we have the tap, uh, but there is something else that we need as well, and that is the Rosa Arcana. Uh, plus, I want to verify that that's like the right flower before I go and make it. And look at this. Uh, when I updated my server, I got a new uh, tome. One is the Akashic Tome, and one is the Eccentric Tome. So, I don't really... Uh, this one does not have the book uh like when you open it up it does have the big giant book in there Let's show you what i mean when you open this one uh oh um <laughs> i guess this one is no longer functioning can't clear it. Uh, so I guess the uh, the hotkeys are interfering or something. So that one's not. I can't switch it over. So, but Botania, Botania, where did you go, Botania? Extreme book. Uh, is Britannia not in here? Do I have to get uh, the own Britannia book? Uh, I don't see one in here. Maybe it's out in the Britannia area. Oh, look, Sheba. I still need to go. <laughs> I still need to go get a new Sheba. Uh, no book. And no book. Hmm. Seems odd. Um. Yeah. Look at me. I was like digging this out. Uh, I had to come over here and get some green dye. So I was turning slime balls into cactus. <laughs> and I had to, I ran out of man. I needed so much cactus for all that uh, the green terracotta. And I was moving my alchemy catalyst to the different <laughs> pools so I could use up all the mana. Yeah, good times. So I um, feel like... Uh, I know, I know I had it in that one, but industrial tinkers. Huh. It is definitely not in there, so let's see what the book. How do you make the book? It's usually like a sapling and a book. Uh, but this is kind of stinky because I know I had my updated Lexa, but Lexa Capitania, so I wonder if I'm going to have to throw that in there do this oh, I'm missing a book I don't know how to make a book missing paper missing sugarcane well I know I have sugarcane over here I still haven't still haven't gotten everything squared away there is so much to do okay so aha there we go I got a book in there uh, now it looks like we're going to have to throw this guy in there so we can get all the stuff updated. Because there is stuff that I want to do in Batania. And this is part of the reason why I'm setting up the Coliseum. Because I think it will be <laughs> lots of fun for one. And I can fight the uh, Batania mobs over there. So that would be super cool and awesome. Uh, so... I know the flower that I want. Uh, 
think there's a way to search entry index. No. Let's go back and look under generating flora. Um, these are the new ones that just opened up uh, with when we threw the book in and ones that we haven't looked at. Here's the Rosa Arcana. Experience points contain a magic of their own. The Rosa Arcana can tap into this magic, absorbing the experience of nearby players and turning it into mana. Yes, <laughs> can also synthesize mana from experience orbs and enchanted items in the world. However, this method nets you a bit less mana for the same experience. Uh, that's fun. So what we need are pink and purple and lime and a rune of mana. You know, I don't think that I have any like a uh, regular a man of steel i have the upgrade i made up a bunch of man of steel and turned it into elementium so i don't actually have man of steel so i might have to grab some iron shoot And let me see, you look like you've got plenty of mana. There we go. That should be enough for that. Because uh, we need um we need that rune of mana. Rosa. Rosa. <laughs> And I might want to make them the floating Rosa Arcana, just so I can put them everywhere without having to place dirt on the ground and then put them there. So yeah, we need this Rune of Mana. I'm pretty sure we have all the petals that we need. We have a lime. Um, I do have, oh, I have the bag on me, I think. Yep, the flower pouch. Uh, so we got pink and purple. We have a lime. Let's go ahead and get a couple of limes too. Kind of kind of grow some of those. Dude, I know that uh, this is something, it's really small, but I really love how they, uh, how they did it. Because you used to be able to do this, but you had to use shears. And I really appreciate not having to use shears for this. <laughs> uh, really, really do. Uh, now, I do want a couple of these, so I think at least, at least two. And they look pretty easy to make, so I might go ahead and make like four. Uh, one, two for each spigot, maybe? I'm not sure how well <clears throat> they will keep up, uh, so we'll see. Now we need to boost these guys up. Yes, I love being able to just knock these down. Because you used to have to shear them in order to harvest. So I do appreciate. Oh, and they all went into the flower pouch. <laughs> so we got four of you, four of you, and uh Nice. And if I just do these, that would be groovy. The sun is setting. Uh, 
All right. Um, I haven't done Britannia in a while. I mean, I got the, the little area going, but then that was, was it. Oh, and now all my flowers went back in there. Um, I know there's like a, you could use like a dispenser to appropriate these if you wanted. Uh, or there's um, the pretty cool little Batania flower that will create Batania flowers. Uh, at the cost of mana, so could just turn mana into petals. And that's pretty fun. Or you can do it for free. <laughs> And, and have a dispenser do it uh, with no mana. At least I'm pretty sure dispenser will do that. All right, let's get our goodies out. Wink, uh, 16 of you. Let's just take all of you. I'm just going to turn all of these guys into pebbles, and we should have what we need. Yes. Um, put you away. And put you away. So if I want to make four of these, that means eight pink, eight purple, and four lime. Eight pink, eight purple, Four lime. And then I need four rooms of mana. Um, I do not have the ender pearls either, so I'm going to need at least four mana pearls. There we go. Um, hopefully, there's enough mana in there. If not, I can throw my ring down in there. So, I think it's, what is it, five? One, two, three, four, five, yes. <laughs> Oh, I forgot I need the uh, Living Rock and my Wand of the Forest. Oh, yeah, it's out already. Dang it. Okay. Let's um, toss him a little bit of mana. Oh, wait, um, dang it. We need that to go in. There we go. And I need you back. Oof. Okay, hopefully that's enough. Where to stuff? Um, yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to get these Rose Arcanas set up. I'm almost out of time. Uh, <laughs> uh, what I think I'll do is, since I'm almost out of time uh, on the video, I will go ahead and pause the recording make up the other three and get these guys made.
Uh, so I'll be right back. Just finished up the last rune. So there we have it. We have our four runes. Now I need, oh, I've got five seeds here. So that is perfect. Uh, but I also need a bucket. Bucket. Um, you. <laughs> um, you. 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 And then an empty hand. And that should do it. Uh, actually, I would like the empty hand to be closer to the bucket. That should work. Uh, so we already got some water in here. Going to put our room. Ooh. Awesome. So now I can just go uh, get water. Right click. Put that in there water quick throw it in yeah this is much easier too <laughs> uh oh got to put water in awesome we got this sweet four rosa arcanas uh bubbles <laughs> so I'm going to convert these over to uh, the little guys, uh, the portable ones, uh, the floating Rosa Arcana, which is just, uh, you have to have some type of flower made. Um, there we go. <laughs> it's a pasture seed and a glimmering flower. So whatever color flower you want. It's just a flower and two glowstone to make it glimmering. And then you combine it with a pasture seed and a dirt and you get the floating flower. Whatever color, if it's brown or whatever. Then you can combine that with um, whatever functional flower you're using. Uh, or, I guess, uh, yeah, the functional flower or the generating flower will will work. Uh, and then you can make it a floating flower. <laughs> so I'm going to do that and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.